Decisiveness. So I got to be more decisive. My old chaplain, chaplain Jerry Lewis, he's retired now. Tall guy, Jerry Lewis, true story. Colonel Jerry Lewis. He said, somebody make a decision in his North Carolina. Somebody, we used to say, he used to crack us up. But he was right. You got to make decisions. He was saying, leaders, make decisions. We can't sit on our hands. Be decisive. Change is going to happen. Or you're going to be in front of the change, or you're going to be picking up the pieces after the change. Make a decision. Go ahead, next slide. Colin Powell, great, great leader. Uh, he's uh, been in the media at times, you know, saying some controversial stuff and so forth. But he says there are no secrets to success. It is a result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Wow. Learning from failure, hard work. That's what resilient leaders do. We make decisions. We're going to fail sometimes, but we get up and we keep going. We learn from that failure and we keep going. That's what resilient leaders do. You get up and you keep going. Go ahead, next slide. All right, there's my perpetual optimism slide. He says, Colin Powell, perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. So that's why General Pesci always says, Mr. Perpetual Optimism. I try to stay positive. No matter what's going on, the stress, the strain, life every day, you just keep going. Be positive. Something good is happening right around the corner. You got to believe that. So Colin Powell, he, he came from Jamaican immigrants, parents, grew up in the New York area. And, but look where he rose. I mean, he was the national security advisor for uh, President Reagan. That's him in the Vietnam era leading his troops. And then, of course, he led the Gulf War. There he is with Norman, General Norman Schwarzkopf, the late general. Then there he is as a secretary of state for General, I mean for General, for President George Bush. I mean, and then, of course, you had to conclude, you had to put that one in there. That's me and Colin Powell. Wow. <laughs> and you know why I put this in there? Because he told me at, at National War College, he, I, I, had, I didn't have a, his book. He was doing a book signing. His books were sold out, but I had my book. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I don't have the picture of him saying, looking at me, signing my book saying, you want me to do what? That's exactly quote unquote what he said. I said, sir, can you sign my book? I don't have any other book. And I just want to shake your hand. That was the whole point. Leaders must be decisive. So I took a risk. I was bold. And I made that decision. And, and then I said, sir, if you sign this book, I will send you a copy of my book. And I did. I sent him a copy of my book, Devotions from the Desert, and you know what? I never got a thank you note from him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And perpetual optimism, though, is a force multiplier. Okay, next slide. Here we go. One more build. It's a build. Yes. What gives you optimism in the midst of tough times? That's what I'm asking you right now. What gives you optimism? 